how do we know who pays for what? We made it to closing and now it's a week ahead of time and they're sending Altas back and forth. What the heck does Alta even stand for? What is the closing disclosure? What are all these fees? Well, here's the deal. In the state of Florida is all I can really tell you about, but if you need help in another state, let me know and I'll help you out there too. I'll help you connect at least with someone there who knows. But here in the state of Florida, there are items that are typical for the seller to pay and typical for the buyer to pay at closing, AKA closing costs. So the first one for sellers, we're gonna talk about sellers today. The first one for sellers is the biggest one and that's commission. And the commission is actually negotiated by the seller and the listing agent prior to the house even going on the market. But now we've got a contract, we've accepted it, and we're going through negotiations. We've made it through everything, but now we're here getting close to the closing. What can you expect to cover for closing costs as a seller? You've got the commission, that was the biggest one. Your next items are the dock stamps and taxes on the deed, the owner's policy. If you still have yours from when you purchased, that could save you some money. Title search. There's gonna be a municipal lien search done. Any estoppel fees, the recording fees, and any attorney or title fees that the actual title or attorney company uses to facilitate the closing. That's it. Those are the closing costs that are pretty typical for a seller here in the state of Florida. Now, having said that, it doesn't mean that none of that can be negotiated. The way this market is, I've seen that people have used that to negotiate some of the seller's closing costs paid by the buyer, but typically it's the buyers asking for the sellers to pay things. So hopefully that, that's helpful. If you have any questions, drop them below or shoot me a DM.